Let your tennis game explode with the new Head Boom Pro. As the heaviest member of the Boom family, this Pro version will allow players to swing with confidence. It features a more rounded 98 square inch head paired with a 16 by 19 string pattern. It has a strong weight of 11.6 ounces and a swing weight of 325. Thanks to the flexible material in the racket's yoke and its innovative design, the feel at contact is forgiving and there is more than enough touch at the net. The uniform string pattern lends to a consistent feel at contact. If you're an all-court intermediate or advanced player looking for controllable power, this might be your perfect match. The excitement has been building with these boom rackets, so I was thrilled to try the new Boom Pro. And from the very first hit, this racket falls right into the guilty pleasure category for me. Really great plush feel at contact, large sweet spot, and I was rewarded with super easy depth. And there's something magical in this racket where there were several times where I thought my balls were going out and the, the ball just kind of trajected right inside that baseline. So I loved hitting with this racket. It was really easy to swing compared to some of the heavier rackets that I gravitate towards, but it still fit in really well with my game. Really fun to tee off on returns as well. I found a great blend of controllable power. If I really had to critique it, it doesn't have as much mass behind the ball as something like a Prestige Tour, but that is to be expected at the 11.6 ounce range and a little bit of a lower swing weight. So something I could have fun customizing for sure. This racket was also super maneuverable and easy to use at the net. I actually had a lot of fun playing doubles with it because that swing weight's a little bit lower than what I normally play with. I found tons of maneuverability on angles and on serve, it was awesome as well. So all in all, super fun play test. Boom goes the dynamite. I've been hitting a lot with both this Boom Pro and also the Boom MP. And where the MP is really whippy and I felt a fun racket to hit angles with, I just love the feel and connectivity to the ball I get with the Pro version. Uh, just a really flush feel to it. I feel like I carry the ball nicely through my swing, can really control the placement of my shots. Really enjoyed this one at net too, hitting some nice touch volleys with it. It's fast, it's easy to get around, but there's just enough mass there to keep it rock solid, even when you're up against a faster passing attempt. Um, also like that aspect, transition well on the return where I could take a compact swing, redirect the pace well and use the, the touch and feel and control in this racket to put the ball where I wanted. Early on in the test, uh, my serve wasn't quite where I wanted it to be but as a test wore on, I really found the groove with this and actually ended the test serving some of my best tennis I think with this um, Boom Pro. So it uh, really came around for me on that one shot. Not sure what clicked but it did and uh, so really happy to get the results from there. But uh, for me the standout feature it's just a feel um, I had from all areas of the court with this one. So really fun play test, really nice racket, definitely recommend it. Admittedly, this racket is slightly out of my comfort zone, but I did find that it was easier to swing and more maneuverable than other head pro models like the Radical Pro or the Speed Pro. Uh, and it has plenty of power. I found that if I did have time to set up, I was able to hit some pretty booming forehands with it. I also found that the spin was excellent, not only on my forehand top spin shots, but because of the mass and the swing weight, I felt like I could get my backhand slices to knife and stay low. Uh, I feel like the standout feature uh, of this racket though, like Michelle has mentioned, is the feel. Uh, it's a really unique feel and I think the best way for me to describe it is that it's comfortably firm um, and it still has a really nice plush feel at contact. Really the only downside for me is that swing weight. I just felt like I was a little bit late on my shots with this racket more often than I'm used to. Like Chris, I play tested this one with the MP and uh, even though I did enjoy both, I do prefer the MP. This racket was comfortable in my hand, versatile from the baseline um, and something I really enjoyed. I could play offense and defense with it, um, so if I wanted to move forward and really attack the ball, it was nice and comfortable in my hand and I could trust the ball is going to dip into the court really nicely with some pretty heavy topspin. If I was forced to play defense, something that I do struggle with a little more often, this racket actually had enough mass to really put the ball deep in the court and it was something that was really reliable for me off both the forehand and backhand wing. Moving forward to the net, took half volleys really, really well. And overall, just coming forward to the net, uh, it was something that I had, uh, it felt pretty soft in my hand. So again, a really versatile frame for me throughout the playtest. Serving, it, it didn't wow me quite as much from that department, but if you're looking for a racket that's gonna be comfortable in your hands, but still, I mean, really player-oriented frame, 
that is gonna offer plenty of mass through the ball. I was really impressed by this new iteration by head. We had the opportunity to play test these rackets with several different string setups, but loved it the most with Head Links Touch and Head Links Tour at 53 pounds. To learn more about Boom and all the other head rackets, be sure to go to Tennis Warehouse, Tennis Warehouse Europe, or Tennis Only.